Hello, Greg from Balloon Market here and welcome to BMTV. This week we're joined by a very special guest. It is the CEO of Sempertex, Mr. Oswald Luevi. Luevi. I said yes, that correct? That's right. Excellent. Chris. Okay. Thank you very much for, for joining us and talking to us. Um, first of all, Sempertex, a relatively new brand here in the UK, um, obviously being distributed through Amscan. Can you tell us a little bit about the history of the company and how it came to be, where it is today? Yes, of course. Thank you for having me here at BMTB. It's a big pleasure um, to talk to the English audience. So I'm very happy and pleased to join this event that we are having here at Milton Keynes. Mm -hmm. And well, the this, this story started when my father, Emil, left Austria in 1938 because of the Second World War. And they started the company from, from the very scraps, so, so, from a very small thing. And the first drying oven uh, to vulcanize the balloons was a bread oven of a warship. So, uh, oh. yes, it was real, real small. Uh, today we have a, an operation that covers the global market. Uh, we have a team of 1,400 employees, colleagues, uh, yeah, 80% are women, and most of them are house heads, and, and that's very interesting because uh, the, f the company is not, also, not only producing and delivering balloons all around the world, uh, but also integrated to the Colombian society and providing a, a good opportunity to the people. That's a lot of people you employ now as well. So yes. 1,400 people, that's, that's yes. uh, and, and we have increased the productivity of each worker by 700% during the last 20 years by introducing the most advanced technology in, available in the world. I would say with respect to all our comp co uh, colleague companies that Sempertex probably is the most advanced balloon operation worldwide. Okay. Today we are producing about 5 million balloons a day. 5 million a day? Yeah. High quality balloons. Wow. Making wow. 5 million balloons a day, uh, average balloons, is easy. <laughs> but 5 million high quality balloons for professional use, this is a challenge. Yeah. But you do it. My favorite say is the easy day was yesterday because uh, in balloons you cannot guarantee anything. What happens today not means will happen tomorrow because the latex is a, a raw material mm -hmm. that comes from the rubber tree. Uh, the behavior of the latex change from day to day. So what happened today you cannot assure or guarantee is going to happen tomorrow. So the next day things will change completely and you have to analyze because latex has a very particular uh, personality. Mm -hmm. So latex is the sap of the rubber tree. So um, uh, from January till April, it's called what um, they name as the dry season. Mm -hmm. So the personality of the latex, the character of the latex comes different from the tree compared to the latex that comes, the sap that comes out from June to December. So you need, you need to play with that. So how do you keep it consistent throughout the year? Yeah, this is a good question. We control from the tree to the end product, the whole process. So we know exactly from which farms we get the latex and we know exactly what kind of, let's say, attitude the latex have. And all that is standardized when it arrives to the company. Every stage of the company has a quality assurance that is very strict. So we spend more money on quality assurance and control than in manufacturing or printing or packaging. So there is our biggest expense. Yeah. That's the, 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 the secret, we can say that way. Yeah. That's fascinating. I, I hadn't really thought, I, I know that latex comes from the rubber, sap of the rubber tree and that's really all I knew. So that, that's really interesting that you keep it consistent and you process it all from scratch yourself. Yes. So, so you're using a tree to produce something, but the tree is living for 35 years. And so it's not wasteful at all, is it? That's very environmentally the, friendly. The, yes, the, the rubber trees are considered, uh, or rubber plantation are considered oxygen factories. It's impressive. It's, it's, it's really interesting. Now I've got something else to ask you about. What, what, what are these? You said you only do balloons now. What, what, what okay, okay, so you got the secret, <laughs> no? Um, these pet toys are made with recycled balloons. So mm -hmm. we have a small scrap level, but still we, we, we take full care of that and we are converting it in 
pet toys of the highest quality. So the performance of these pet toys are compared to one of the top brands that we took as a benchmark and, and it's working very high. And that's made with scrap. So rather yeah, yeah, than absolutely. throw it away, you've got a very high quality. Yes, and, and it, are, it are unique. So this ball, you don't, you don't have a second ball same as this one because the patterns change. It's totally personalized. All oh, right, I see. Yeah, and the colors and all that. And this frisbee was designed to that anyone who do not know how to, thro to, to, to throw away a, a frisbee uh, to launch a frisbee, this one flies for everyone. <laughs> really? Yes, you can try it. I, 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 I don't want to hit the camera. <laughs> I'll probably work, yeah. but I'll try it afterwards. We, it will fly out of the stadium. <laughs> if you so let's talk a little bit about the, about the balloon products. Sure. I love the, the pastel colors, the new well, pastel. They are stunning. Yeah, the pastel is, a, is, a, is reinventing the pastels because, because these new pastels that we launched for, for, for the, the, the coming season a, have a different texture of a conventional pastel. We avoid the light reflecting on the surface of the balloon, so we froze the light. Uh, so this kind of effects is what the people are looking for. Also, we are bringing a new version of the neon balloons. Okay. So these neon balloons that uh, here at Milton Keynes you have seen, uh, the frequency they vibrate is very intense, so at daylight, you can see balloons that impact you like the effect you were in black light. And you get that in the day without the Yes, almost, almost in the day. Wow. Not exactly because I have to say the black light creates a very strong effect it does, because yeah. it's a different uh, light frequency. But, but even at the daytime, you can have this kind of visual impact. We have identified um, a new trend in the world and this is a change in the geometry of the visuals. Mm -hmm. So we are now moving from the conventional balloon that is like a teardrop uh, to very strong spherical things. It started, I will tell you where, in Covent Garden. You had a very nice decoration by a French decorator, a French artist. Oh, yes. he, he did an installation with white balloons. I remember, yeah. It was amazing because, you know, with the social media, it, it permitted that, that all the world in every part, they saw that installation. Mm -hmm. But this installation had a different effect, more than an artistic per, uh, uh, element, it created a new dimension. Mm -hmm. And people started to see the rounds, the spheric, the spheres, etc. And then people realized, artists around the world, well, we always have been very symmetric. symmetric. Mm -hmm. Now this entropy, this disorder of of the molecules looks nice. So they started to play with that. And now it's a total trend. I know, the, the organic trend the is The organic, huge. now the organic, and this is connected with the organic, you know, yeah. it's really, really nice. That's great. So you've got, you've got the, the new two foot ones. They're, yes, they're great. Yeah, we have different sizes because the idea of this uh, asymmetry is to have some harmony. So you want to have uh, a lot of round spheres, but you don't want to have a, a sphere that is oval. You want a sphere that is a real sphere. So inside the company, we had meetings and meetings, and if you came to my office, you will find, oh, it's totally clean, and suddenly there are like six big round balloons and a big discussion about the roundness and pictures and this and that, and, and people, and, what, and if some balloon bursts, because balloons, it's natural they burst. They think I'm killing somebody in my office. <laughs> but no, everybody survived. So, 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 so the spheres is a very big trend and we are bringing the proper sizes so you can deliver everything and we can, you can surprise the eyes of the people. People is looking for new emotions all the time. Yeah. People is more oriented today to experience, to have more experience, to spend money in things. Yeah. So, you know, taste, good food, good music, but the eyes, who sourced the eyes? Mm -hmm. We source the eyes. Yeah. Okay, cool. So what are you most excited about in the industry now? At this moment in time, what are you excited about? Well, I have to say um, there was a challenge this year because one of our colleague companies came to the, co to the market with a product that definitely surprised. Mm -hmm. and, and you know, the, the, we, we love the competition mm -hmm. uh, because the, our competitor is for us a blessing. Um, uh, every time they do something nice, we think, oh, good, that is our next fight. Okay. But, in, you know, next fight in, in a good sense. So, 
so they had they brought to the market a, a, a nice product and our challenge has been how to come with something same or better this initiative of of our colleagues is going to be answered in the best and nicest way uh, and, and I, I think they will love it love it too can you talk about it yet or not? Ah, and surprises are surprises, but for <laughs> smart people like you, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So I don't want to be the, the, the obvious, but it's, you need to conclude. We, the, can, we, the, can, we can keep it quiet for now. A little. A little quiet. A little, a little. Okay, yes. okay. What about challenges in the industry? What, what are you, would you say, obviously there's not problems, but what are the challenges facing the industry as a whole, would you say? The biggest challenge worldwide for, for, the, for the human beings is, is the environment. Mm -hmm. But when you lead a company, like in our case and myself, we have a, a bigger commitment. So in our company, we don't call social responsibility, we call it social compromise. Because I think it should come in a different way. We are fortunate that we have the European Balloon and Paris Council that is integrated not only by European companies, like we have the Mexican company, the biggest balloon manufacturer is part of that, or in Colombia, we, we are quite far from here, but we are, we are present, so we have to be committed with this. So leading a lot of initiative, how to collect the, the balloons after use, uh, where to do, where to, to send it, how, you know, these kind of things that bring a, a, bring a good attitude through a right education should be everywhere. Oswald, I could talk to you for hours, um, but unfortunately we don't have time for I that. I thought it was <laughs> going to be for days. <laughs> I could probably talk to you for days, yes. but I really appreciate you giving us this time. Oh, and my it's, pleasure. It's been, it's been wonderful to meet you. Yeah. So. And again, thank you for the hospitality and thank you to all the UK people that has received Sempertex in such a good way. Uh, you have our word that we are going never to disappoint you and to please you every possible time. Brilliant. Thank you, Oswald. That's it from us this week. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. See you next time. Bye.